So what's uh, generally thickened uh, lesions uh, on the skin, uh, they are usually associated with uh, some form of viral infection. The uh, most famous of all is the human papilloma virus, of which there are many, many types. Uh, most of these warts are generally benign. Um, there are only a few strains uh, of the human papilloma virus that causes cancerous types of uh, warts. So uh, most commonly warts happen in areas where we come into contact with uh, other sur usually wet surf surfaces for example. So common places include our palms as well as uh, our feet, the, the soles of our feet and sometimes in patients with uh, compromised uh, skin uh, barriers, for example, patients with eczema, they might find that they develop warts on uh, the eczema areas. So, commonly, warts usually have a central uh, area where there is a blood vessel that's supplying the growth of the wart. So, the wart tends to be very thickened on the surface, rough and thick, and that uh, usually causes a little bit of disfigurement of that local area or a little bit of discomfort because that area keeps rubbing against uh, things that we hold. So traditionally, um, uh, in the older days, we used uh, certain treatments such as liquid nitrogen to freeze off the warts and also later on we also used uh, treatments such as electrocautery to basically burn off uh, the warts. Those were good treatments but generally they carried a little bit more downtime for the patient. So for example, liquid nitrogen intends to cause a cold burn uh, on the area of treatment and uh, it can be a little bit uncomfortable and painful. Uh, the same goes for electrocautery because we are us basically using electric current to burn off uh, the thickened tissue uh, of the wart. So currently I prefer to use lasers to treat uh, viral warts. Basically, we use a long pulsed NDX laser, which is used as a vascular laser to target and to close off the blood uh, vessel that's supplying the viral wart. When we close off the blood supply to the viral wart, um, the viral wart basically uh, dies off uh, slowly over the next one to two weeks um, because there's no blood supply or nutrients to, uh, to the viral wart. And, uh, for this particular treatment, the, it does not leave a wound over the area. The viral wart falls off naturally when the, new, when the skin is ready underneath and it causes very minimal discomfort uh, to the patient. So uh, very often we find that uh, just one or two treatments uh, for, uh, for it is good enough and the patient suffers very little discomfort.